building your army is quite a task and there are multiple factors that decide how your nemesis or follower will turn out. The two main factors are the tribe and the classes. Today's focus is on the latter one, the classes. And they can be categorized in two subcategories, one that decides the weapon that they are using, also called class bonuses, and one that decides what traits they possess, advanced class bonuses. In this video we'll take a look at the first category, the class bonuses, which there are six of. The Archer, Defender, Hunter, Olog, Savage and Warrior. Let's take a closer look at each of the classes and their bonuses and we'll start with the Archer. The Archer wields a crossbow and is deadly at range, more so than Hunters. The Archer should not be confused with the Advanced Class Marksman, since they aren't the same. A Marksman will always be an Archer, but an Archer doesn't necessarily have to be a Marksman. Besides the class bonus which equips them with a crossbow, the Archers have one trait called Explosive Shot. It was first thought to be bound to the Marksman class, but it isn't, unlike the Power Shot and Quick Shot traits. Of course, ideally you would have an Archer that is also a Marksman, as the Advanced traits fit the class perfectly. Keep in mind that they are countered by defenders and savages since they have no close range potential. With that we're moving on to the defenders, probably one of the more annoying classes to play against since they are equipped with a shield and a spear. That isn't necessarily the bad thing, but it means that as the class bonus states they block all frontal attacks. This can be countered by vaulting over them and hitting them in the back. And in addition to this, they have their Pokey Pokey and Swipe attacks that can be countered. But they have to be dodged, otherwise you'll lose your hit streak. They aren't too strong against Olog High, since they'll just Hulk smash their way through the shields. Following the alphabetical order, we're now at the Hunter. The Hunter, or better known as the Combo Breaker, is the Spear Hurling Grunt. They are exceptionally strong against Beast and Olog High, since they don't have to get in close range with them, plus their targets are generally quite big. And similar to the Archer, the Hunter can have the Explosive Shot trait, making them very lethal, but most of all an annoying little nugget. Every time you're on a high hit streak, you'll just have to wait a few seconds and you'll have a spear up your ass. Luckily for you, they are easily countered as they aren't strong against defenders and savages. Next up are the Olog High trolls that are specifically designed for war and are, as you might have guessed, new in Shadow War. Though that they have more health and aren't as easily countered as the other classes, they are still relatively easy to defeat. The class bonus, Olok Strength, makes it so you can mount them since they'll just throw you off like the little nugget that you are. However, they can be mounted after you have stunned them and as you all know you can follow that up with a hilarious sequence of stabbing him in the back and running him into objects like, I don't know, explosive barrels of grog maybe? Though they are big and powerful, they are fairly easily countered by the hunter. Following the Olog High, we have the Savages. Savages are what Berserkers were in the previous game. They wield dual weapons, generally axes and they are exceptionally well trained in one-on-one -on -one combat. Their class bonus means you can't use your primary attack on them, as they will counter it with a low damage attack. You either want to stun them first, or you want to attack them from range. Don't confuse savages with the advanced class Berserker, though they're not the same, it is however a good combination. Savages are generally countered by defenders and Olog High. And now we arrived at the final class, which is the Warrior. The warrior is the most basic of classes, they wield swords, clubs or maces, but since they are the standard class their attacks are easily countered. Any attack or ability will work against them. You can fall over them, you can primary attack them, you can counter them, it's whatever you want. They are essentially countered by any class. Those are the six basic classes in Shade of War, let us know which of these classes is your favorite? Mine has to be the Olog High since they're just beastly strong. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content is always welcome. And we want to thank you for watching. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or dislike if you didn't. That can happen too. 
In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. We'll hopefully see you in the next video. For now, talk to you later and peace out.